Namaskar. Hello and welcome to P Guru's channel. I'm your host, Sri Ayer, and I have with me Sri Delhi R. Rajagopal and today to give you the latest and the greatest news that is happening in India. And let's welcome our guest of the day, Rajagopal and Ji. Namaskaram, sir. Namaskar, sir. Namaskar, sir. Sir, um, today's, uh, today's episode is going to be interesting. Uh, first off, I'm going to tell something to our viewers that is not in the uh, uh, you know, what we had unvisaged because I got some new information and I'm going to say that. And I'm also going to ask you some out of syllabus questions. Sir, yeah, sure, you sure. are you are Raja Gopalan, sir. You are the king of the Gopalakas, which is Lord Krishna. Lord Krishna knows everything. So there should be no problem at all for you to answer these questions, sir. Sure, 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 sure. I will try, sir. I will try definitely, you know, my morning greetings and also Namaskaram to Sri Ayer and to his viewers. You can ask me questions, I'll say, but the more focus is on BJP National Executive and the KCR show, sir, politically. Absolutely. Before we jump into the, uh, the National Executive Committee resolutions, viewers, I want to tell you something very interesting. We all know Tejasvi Surya, an up-and-coming dynamic leader. He's also involved with BJYM, Bharati Janta, Yuva Morcha. And something happened on a flight from Chennai to Trichy. And DMK, as usual, took something, little thing, and then made a big mountain out of it. I just want to set the record straight as to what exactly happened and, and make sure that our viewers worldwide know the real fact. So it was a, a flight from uh, Chennai to Tiruchi, and it is an Indigo flight, 6E7339. And the, the plane itself is an ATR72-600. So this is a small plane. I mean, I actually looked at the plane. I counted the number of windows, four per row, maybe about 20 windows. So about 60 to 80 people can sit there. So what has happened is Tejasu Surya and Annamalai, they were flying from Chennai to Tiruchi. And they got the emerge, emergency exit row, uh, row. So Surya was towards the window and Anamale was to his right. Now what happened was this emergency row doesn't have armrests. You know, normally when we sit in the plane, we usually say, okay, let me rest my arm. So when he actually sat here, rested his arm, his hand actually accidentally touched the emergency exit. And that emergency exit has a handle. It has it's a handle that looks very very horizontal. And when he his hand touched it, he felt that that handle felt loose. So when they were making the security checks announcement in the plane, he got up, he put his hand up and said, "Please check this thing. This handle felt loose." And then what they had to do was they had to stop. They had to do complete security check security checks again because you need to make sure that the plane is pressurized when on air and that took two hours okay he was doing it as a public service he wanted to make sure that the plane was safe to play safe to fly like they say sir no good deed ever goes unpunished dmk has made a big deal out of this and they've been blasting it here and there and saying that they just has opened the he he has even opened the emergency exit the plane hasn't even taken off dudes idiots don't even check the whole data and they come out and you know start blah 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 this is what is dmk for you anyway let's now get to modi's message much more important topic that you know impacts the whole of india over to you sir my, I, uh, good morning to you and also to viewers of Mr. C. Iyer. I am thankful to you, Mr. C. Iyer, for having me on your show. You elaborated about Tejasvi Surya, which is an eye-opener to many of them who are in dark. Apart from that, Mr. Iyer, DMK, suddenly they brought up Tamil Nadu Valhe, a, a banner under Anna Ariwalev's DMK party headquarters. There is a signboard now. Till yesterday, they were not knowing that Tamil Nadu or Tamil Nadu. Today, they suddenly came up. When this information technology cell, IT cell of DMK is over jealous on Mr. Tejasu Surya and Annamalai, the Tamil Nadu Warhe, why should they come suddenly on a you know a wall of uh, AD, the DMK headquarters, Anna Arivalayam? That's a funny thing. You know, DMK has lost their, you know, uh, ideology, the strength, the strength to rule the government, strength to rule the Tamil Nadu, and they did not fulfill the promised need. 
It's a major setback to them. Apart from that, now let us not get into that uh, angle, sir. Prime Minister Mr. Narendra Modi's speech at National Executive Meeting and his message to the nation and to the party, I convey to you know our P Guru viewers, I share my thoughts in three aspects, sir. A, B, C. A, Prime Minister was very forthcoming that many of his welfare schemes do not reach the desired uh, you know audience desired uh, target especially he is much more concerned about uh, prime minister narendra modi is concerned about tens of thousands of crores what he releases from the central government the state governments do not share that with the uh, needy people they transform it into their own party ideology Political, you know, things like that. For example, Tamil Congress, they put some new Bengali name. For Tamil Nadu, some they put some Tamil name. Whereas the funds go from center, union government. Prime Minister's eight or nine major projects under him. Now he has removed the Rajiv Gandhi, Sonia Gandhi, Priyanka Gandhi, Nehru, Motilal Nehru, Sanjay Gandhi program. All of them have been removed. It is only Prime Minister Anna Yajana. Prime Minister Sadak Yojana, Prime Minister's you know, Garib Kalyan Yojana, Prime Minister's Gadi Sakti, like that, sir, are 16, 18 projects are there under his you know, supervision. Prime Minister oversees that. Prime Minister reviews that every week. And, you know. Yes, sir. So that makes sense, sir. You know, if you remember, whenever we learnt our grammar, which is Vyakaran, right, we were all told, it doesn't matter which language of yours, it doesn't matter which language you learnt as a child. They, you are always told that there are three aspects to any sentence, karma, karta, kriya. So in, in that exactly, you know, falls to what you just said, sir, who is the person who is doing it? What is he doing it? And how is he doing it? Exactly. That is it. So, so this makes a lot of sense. Why do you want to attach a name again in front of it to make political capital out of it. And and one thing that I'm sure Modi ji has found that all these central schemes, when they arrive at the state, the state government, especially when it's a regional government, puts its sticker as if to pass it off as their own. Uh, Please go ahead. You, you, you were on dot. You said it. You, absolutely. You said it. What, you know, the sticker politics of Mr. M.K. Stalin. Forget about the Stalin because they cannot rise to the level of Mr. Narendra Modi. They can abuse and create a confusion. Apart from that, now, I would like to say one important thing, sir. Prime Minister's three aspects, as you said, the three Ks uh, about that uh, grammar of any uh, uh, initiative. Prime Minister was very clear in one thing that La Bharatis are not being targeted properly by the BJP party men and also the state governments. He explained it to the party uh, workers, leaders, National Executive Committee members. Apart from that, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said, why should we have Sapka Sat, Sapka Vikas, Sapka Priya, Sapka, uh, you know, uh, the uh, one for all, everyone should be benefited. That slogan, what he has enunciated in 2014, he lived up to his expectations. Prime Minister was very, you know, forthcoming that his Sapka Sat, Sapka Vikas had not reached the properly because of Corona, he said, 220 crore people have been inoculated. It is not an easy task. It is a gigantic work of Mr. Narendra Modi. And you get a certificate immediately on your mobile phone. So therefore, he used the technology. He not only got inoculated with the second wave or third wave, the wave did not you know, uh, hold its uh, breath. It, it has, you know, somehow the, the India succeeded in getting Covaxin and COVID shield. Apart from that, sir, northeastern states are going for polls now. And then that poll dates are announced yesterday. My understanding is, sir, uh, with the new innovation of uh, uh, Sapka Saat, with the uh, Sapka Prayas, he added one last year. Northeastern states are with full of Christianity. Prime Minister's meeting Pope Prime Minister meeting, you know, the religious leaders, he said, and to cope the speed with which Mr. Ramogan Bhagat, RSS leader also pronouncing his new terms, Northeast is a very crucial state. It is Mr. Narendra Modi's government who has gone there 
42 times he has visited all the seven sisters of Northeast, sir. You will not believe. I have the list with me, dates with me from eight years. He visited this much of times. Apart from that, 400 union ministers, 400 times they visited. Some 40 or 50 ministers were repeatedly going to Sikkim, Agartala, Tirpura, Meghalaya, Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, like that. And second thing, Prime Minister Narendra Modi was very keen that Northeast should not be relegated. Even during Congress regime, Dr. Manmohan Singh was an MP from Northeast Assam, but he did not even visit properly Northeast states. Northeastern states, because the, the UPA government was filled with DMK only, they looked for Delhi, Chennai, Delhi, Coimbatore, Delhi, Madurai place, not Delhi, Agatala, Delhi, Itanagar, Delhi, you know, Kohima. Then none of the eight. 10 ministers of Tamil Nadu would have visited more than two times or three times northeastern states. Sir, I have records. I have RTA information. The DMK ministers were very particular about, you know, enlisting their cadre district secretary in Arunachal Pradesh uh, to be appointed as telephone advisory committee member during DMK regime. But Narendra Modi cut those things. The locals will have a vocal uh, policy. That Representation, he, yeah. Representation. Therefore, Narendra Modi had brought in a lot of reforms for northeastern states. Once upon a time, there were indications that northeastern states, they felt that in, they are separated from India. They are not a part of India. They were all foreigners to Indians. But Narendra Modi gave an inclination, gave an indication, gave an inducement that they are all part of India. That is second. Third, the film bodies. Mr. Narendra Modi criticized the BJP and also RSS workers. Why do you have a freedom of expression in the cinema industry, in the, uh, in the film industry? The film bodies say a big boost of confidence after Narendra Modi in the BJP cautioned the party workers to avoid unnecessary comments on films. Duty now to show, not to show things which can offend people. That is what Prime Minister declared. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's remarks came in the midst of a boycott call against Saru Khan's film and Deepika Padkone's upcoming movie Patan. And a few BJP leaders were also very forthcoming. So these three are important message. At least I would like to uh, you know, list out to our free guru viewers. These are all the things. And second thing, he gave a direction to the and the BJP workers to go for Paviyatras. And you know, Sanjay Bandi in uh, Telangana, Annamalai in Tamil Nadu, they're all going for, uh, you know, major uh, uh, Paviyatras. These four, plus many of the speeches, very interesting aspect was Prime Minister Narendra Modi, JP Nadda, Amit Shah clearly instructed the National Executive Committee members of BJP around uh, 1200 roughly all of them have to deposit their phone outside the uh, you know venue because there was a lee i saw that even mr rajana singh who never takes his phone in his pocket amit shah never takes his phone in his pocket there are two three ps who are holding that two three important messages orally conveyed if anything without public you know in crowd Amit Shah will speak on mobile phone only at his personal rooms and, you know, not in public places. But Sanjay Bandi's phone was also, you know, not, uh, you know, uh, confiscated, but he was told to keep it outside. Anamale phones, Koshubu Sundar's phone. And, you know, even for that matter, Tejasvi Surya's phone. All of them you deposit outside. The reason to, you know, in no, Hyderabad... Sir. Prime Minister in the National Executive meeting spoke and one or two clippings appeared in the public domain. Prime Minister was very wild. He could make a you know detailed inquiry and found out the person who released it. He was properly warned because this Pasmanta Muslim community in Uttar Pradesh, Muslim community, those who are all too drowned trodden and they have not seen the life other than the local uh, village atmosphere or town atmosphere. They all came in large sum after triple talaq effect, after Narendra Modi, Yogi Adityanath's effect. Muslim voters for the first time, Pasmanda voted for BJP in large numbers, sir. So he enthused with that, Mr. Narendra Modi told the audience that he is going to speak out his mind. 
No one should bring their phone inside. That is why many of the things will not trickle out. Another two, three days, many stories will start to appear. Today in Delhi, I, what I heard and what I read in the newspapers about the film industry, they are very happy that Prime Minister put an end to the controversy. So therefore, Prime Minister is preparing for 2023, 10 elections, including Jammu Kashmir state assembly elections, and 24 in large numbers. When Prime Minister's priority for 2023, which we listed last uh, chat show, hang out, that Prime Minister was keen on 2024, no negative campaigns. Even the Jyoti Math, Joshi Math, where that, you know, the city is going five inches down or six inches down due to natural calamity, natural disaster. It is a natural disaster. But, you know, there should not be any negative publicity when India is celebrating its presidency of G20. Prime Minister is more focused on such and things. But at the same time, there are indications yesterday, which I and you shared a, a chat on WhatsApp about the BBC film. If you have yes. seen that, it is full of negative campaign against Modi. It was shown only in UK, not in any other parts of the country. Because the Congress negative cell, Dirty Tricks Department of Congress, they are feeding this to foreign televisions. After 10 days, they will come and show it here. This is also, you know, Bharat Todo Yatra. Not in India, but outside the country. So, Prime Minister is more concerned about this. In Tamil, if you say Prime Minister, Rumba Kavalia Arkari, Prime Minister Manasla Kodachal Arkari, therefore, Prime Minister is terribly upset with the negative propaganda. Even if you have noticed, some of the negative campaigns orchestrated by Congress negative department, dirty tricks department, that is not yielding results because the local Indian embassies immediately counter that fake narrative. So with this, I would like to say, whatever I summarized, the BJP National Executive has been very successful and very uh, elaborative debate was that Prime Minister will not speak out his mind before 1200 people. But Prime Minister has spoken out this time for the first time without the you know mobile phones of the uh, members. But he will also speak out in, in groups, in individual capacities for another one or two weeks to come because many of the state delegates have also met him separately. He had given them visions, what to do, what not to do. Do's and do's list was ready for them. Very, very crispy these things. Now you can ask me a question, I will answer that, sir. Well, a um, lot of interesting stuff that you have shared, uh, Rajagopalanji, but let me, uh, let's cover the basic things first and then I'll come back to a bunch of questions that I have. First of all, yours, I know you're already liking this video, but just in case, if you forgot, in your anxiety to listen to Sri Rajagopalanji, please do like it now. We would like this to go viral. Number two, sir. Yeah, be, meanwhile, I got just now one SMS, sir, which I would like to read out to my uh, fellow, yes, sir. you know, readers. Rajagopalan, you I saw that you are going to be in the show. I want you to speak out the real thing of National Executive Committee, which I have already spoken. If I learn yes. it in the next hangout, we will do it, sir. Yes, yes. Wonderful, sir. So you, you are always one step ahead of what our viewers want and you are ready when they are thinking about asking, oh my goodness, you've got the answers already. <laughs> Very good, sir. So now let's take a look at KCR's meeting in Kamam with some other small regional party chief ministers. Um, I would like to think that Arvind Kejriwal's victory in Punjab may not be a fluke, but something close to that. It's a negative BJP, uh, Akali Dal and Congress vote that resulted in his winning. That's how I look at it. So Arvind Kejriwal is there. Um, you know, uh, this guy, uh, KCR and his son, KTR. Who else was there in that meeting, sir? Akhilesh Yadav. Akhilesh hmm. Yadav was prominently there and D. Raja, Pinaray Vijayan. Oh, Mr. K. Chandrasekhar Rao's show in Kammam was a very, very interesting thing, sir. He has succeeded in garnering the support of a lot of, you know, Kammam, Kapu and, you know, Kamma communities. Basically, Mr. K. Chandrasekhar Rao, that is not India. You are, you are only... Uh, zeroing in on one particular community, you may be a you know uh, a strong supporter of uh, that particular community or in that area. That is why my understanding is Akhilesh Yadav was very happy. 
because he went out of uh, Lucknow to address a meeting in South India. This is how the interesting aspects for 2024 is, um, you know, slowly it's capturing the imagination of the uh, political leaders. Arvind Kejriwal having won the uh, Punjab and lost in Gujarat and Himachal Pradesh, he's trying his luck. It's all political gimmickeries and political game. But in one nutshell, if I have to summarize that, Mr. K. Chandrasekhar Rao, though he has ambitions, on the advice of a uh, Lakshmi Narasimha Rupasaga, a devotee of Lakshmi, Lord Lakshmi Narasimha Yadugiri temple, he told him, you cover your scalp. Then you will become prime minister. That is why he started to wear a cap. Sir, and if you remember, please. if you remember, Mr. Karnanadi was told by a, a religious leader to wear yellow shawl. He started to wear yellow shawl. Though that brought I thought he was also sir sir sir. I thought he was also told to build a, a building that resembles a Shiva Lingam, which is how the current secretariat is shaped, sir. Yes, yes, yes. That is what he was also told because these are all the influence of Kanimori's mother, Dharma Ambal. She was the more devotee, like you know, uh, Durga Stalin. So therefore, there were Hindutva even during uh, Mr. Karnan this period. They exchanged that uh, Mangalya Shutra in front of uh, you know, Trivekar temple, you know that. So these are all yes. things, we will not get into that. KCR wearing a cap has significance. Every leader asked him why you are wearing this cap. He said that Yadugiri Narasimha temple, because Lord Narasimha is a powerful deity, which I am also worshipping every day. And Lord Narasimha is a pet to Mr. KCR. He visited the temple every time. When ESL Narasimha was governor of Andhra Pradesh and, you know, he was stationed in Hyderabad, there were meetings taking place between ESL Narasimha and KCR at Yadugiri Narasimha temple. So therefore, it's a very auspicious temple, no doubt. And he took others also. That is the reason why MK Stalin did not go there. Because he will make a detour of all temples, KCR. Mr. Uh, MK Stalin would not have gone. Otherwise, he would have also become another Narasimha Bhakta. Absolutely. Uh, viewers, uh, what uh, Radhagopalanji is uh, referring to is something that is very famous. Uh, it is near the area called Bhuvanagiri and it's called Yadagiri Gutta. It's not a Gutta. Gutta means a small hillock. That is where the temple of Sri Narasimha is. And uh, um, KCR has done a fantastic job of renovating it. Now it looks as good as perhaps uh, the Tirumala Tirupati Devasthanam temple in Tirumala. So, you know, because Telangana now needs a temple of the same kind of eminence, that's why probably all this stuff. Good luck to him, sir. We need a, a thriving democracy. Now so for very, the, and, and moreover, KCR's initiative is a welcome step, but he will he will whether he crosses the you know bridge or not, we do not know. Because TMC did not attend, Mamta Banerjee, Stalin did not attend. But one interesting aspect is if a national front is formed under KCR's leadership, very interestingly. And K. Chandrasekhar Rao is going to be the financier for election purposes for Akhilesh Yadav, DMK, Tenamul Congress and others. He is ready to take away the major expenses of each MP. He hopes to get at least 100 MPs, the BRS, Bharatiya Rashtriya Samiti, 100 MPs. I, I have my own doubts because I covered more elections than Mr. K. Chandrasekhar Rao would have fought for the elections. And from the understanding, Mr. K. Chandrasekhar Rao should not end in a flop show. That is what my apprehension is. Apart from that, sir, finally, about Telangana and Hyderabad, I want to say a very interesting aspect, which is very emotional one. The archives of Andhra and Telangana, after the bifurcation, most of them were in Hyderabad. Now, Telangana is not giving these archives to Andhra Pradesh. There is a big fight going on. This Sonia Gandhi or Jairam Ramesh nor uh, you know Rosia would have anticipated or you know envisaged that these archives of Telugu culture means language, sir. Culture means the importance of the locals, uh, you know, food habits, temple habits, personalities. These are all certain things. Archives means the the amount of uh, uh, Telugu literatures. Most of them are held in Hyderabad not going to this, uh, you know, uh, Andhra side, especially Vijayawada or Visagapatnam like that. Therefore, the Telugu literature, 
Telugu, uh, you know, pride was killed by Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi because of the speech of Chidambaram also, our good friend. So therefore, my, why are you laughing, sir? Whenever I take Chidambaram, you laugh at it. Sir, I, the I, I sea behind me. To that. Sir, sir, Achata, the sea behind me is Chidambaram, sir. We never forget him, sir. Oh, Achata. sorry, sorry. I thought sea means crack. <laughs> Go ahead, C sir. means clone. C means clown. <laughs> All of the above doesn't matter. Please continue, sir. <laughs> so therefore, the Andhra Telugu Prime KCR. Now, before you launch a national party, please ensure that archives of Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, and Telugu Pride should not go into that you know dust. The almeras and cupboards of uh, Telangana Secretariat is uh, now tap waters are filled in. That's what I read in the newspapers, Mr. K. Chandrasekhar Rao. Please. Share this information to Andhra Telugu Bidda also. Absolutely. They have as much rights to it as you do. Um, sir, finally, for the out of syllabus question. Now, the <laughs> last time we spoke, the, the Sir Arvind Mayaram was uh, his house was raided and a lot of important documents you said were retrieved. Where does where do things stand today, sir? And and you know, uh, my my only one uh, little uh, back step I take, sir. Don't mistake me, because my sources in CBA at the top level, they convey that we have taken some three or four computers and mobile phones of Mr. Maya Ram, Arvind Maya Ram. There are more than ten thousand chats in the WhatsApp. We have to decode that, and it is under forensic the laboratory. We are trying to get retrieve that. Then we form an idea about it. It will take minimum of two to three months. That is what the indication I get, sir. But things are on the progress. There is a separate cell for it. Even day before yesterday, when I sent you the FIR copy, you did a hangout on that. Very yeah. elaborative one. Things are fanning out. It will take two months time, sir. Any case, you have to deal with in a very proper cap because it has to stand up to the legal scrutiny sir but k arvind, arvind rajaram definitely be a part of the c company sir arvind mayaram yes sir thank you so much sir and and i think i hope your viewers uh, yeah whenever you raid somebody and you've come away with a lot of uh, computers documents and whatsapp ten thousand messages is quite a bit somebody has to reconstruct the story and and then there will be some missing portions those things have to be filled in. I'm and looking and forward and to the and day. And the, and the last breaking news is that Arvind Mayaram by end of this month or January, the February first week, will be summoned for questioning, taken out of the, those WhatsApp messages or the sources, the information, laptop, everything, plus the tip off from other persons who have been raided. And I also understand the Joint Secretary of Currency and Coins in uh, Union Ministry of Finance during that period is also to be questioned. Therefore, my understanding is the entire secret secretariat, if I restructured structure it for our viewers, the finance ministry consists of under secretary onwards it goes because under secretary takes the responsibility. He is the person who is authorized by the government of India to sign any affidavit before the Supreme Court. So the, the under secretary, deputy secretary, joint secretary, additional secretary, secretary, these four steps you have to go. Now, a Tamilian, unfortunately, the joint secretary currency and coins during Mr. Arvind Mayaram's tenure was also a Tamilian. Therefore, things are now slowly under progress. Let us wait and watch how the C company will be you know, put under you know, uh, jail in Tihar. Absolutely, sir. And that would be a day that I think uh, the whole nation would rejoice. Thank you very much, uh, Rajagopalanji. And you've nice. always been forthcoming with a lot of info important information. And viewers, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to click on the bell button. Today, it's cold even in Kowai. I'm actually, uh, you know, speaking with folded hands, not because out of reference. That is also there. But it's because I'm also feeling cold. Thank you very much, Rajagopalanji. Namaskaram. Namaskar, Namaskar, Namaskar.